guys, today I have another back to school video for you. If you want to see any of the other back to school related videos that I've done this year, I will link those all in the down bar. So you can check those out if you're interested in some more school related videos and maybe you missed those. Today's video is going to be some tips on what to carry in your back to school purse. Now I've actually done this video two times before and this is my third year doing it. Every time it seems like you guys have really enjoyed that video and you've said that it was helpful so I said what the heck I'll do another one this year. So it's kind of like another what's in my purse video but it's more tips and things that you might forget to put in your purse and really need when you're at school. So you don't have to like carry all this stuff. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying this is the stuff that I like to carry and that I find really helpful. Um, during the school day so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. As you guys know I carry my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. This is my favorite handbag. It's my baby and it literally just carries absolutely everything you needed to. It's a very great purse. You literally just throw everything in and I've never run out of room with this bag so I'm just going to open it and go ahead and tell you guys what I have inside. So this bag has one pocket so what I keep in there is my cell phone. Like that's a very basic thing to keep in your purse but obviously um, if you're allowed to bring your cell phone to school then I would recommend it I always just keep mine on silent but if you're not allowed for some reason then you know keep it in your locker or something like that my school is not extremely strict with the cell phone policy we just can't be obviously like texting in class and things like that I'm not going in any particular order here but next I have this bag and you guys are gonna see a couple of these in this video this is a my glam bag so if you're subscribed to my glam you probably have this one from I think it was from the July bag but it's just a little makeup bag and it's kind of see-through so I thought this would be a great place to to store my pens and pencils for this year. So um, I just have a couple mechanical pencils, I have some fun colored pens for taking notes, and then I have some black pens at the bottom. And that's basically all I need for my writing utensils. So I like to start off the year with a, a decent amount of these, and then by the end of the year, usually I have like one or I run out of pens and pencils. So I just always lose them. So I like to start off the year with a few. So I like to keep those separate because sometimes your pencils and pens can run. So you don't want to keep those loose in your bag, especially if you have an expensive purse um, or with your makeup. So I would definitely recommend keeping those separate if you do like to keep them in your purse. All right, next thing I have here is my planner. I actually did a whole video reviewing these planners. It's a Planet Daily Planner. And if you're interested, I'll link that video in the down bar. And um, they have a bunch of cute patterns to choose from. So this is mine for this year. And it starts in August, which has already started right now and goes through July of 2013. So this is basically my agenda. My school provides us with them, but I don't really like that one. I, I don't think they give us enough room to write. So I really love the amount of room that you have to write in these planners. So um, this is my favorite and I'm going to be using this. Next I have a calculator. This is a big graphing calculator. It's the TI-84 and I have used this for my science classes like physics, chemistry, and also my math classes like pre-calculus last year, things like that. I've always just kind of needed a graphing calculator but um, you definitely might not need something like this. It just depends on what your teachers ask for. So I would recommend um, just seeing what they ask for and purchasing that calculator and bringing it with you every day to class because you're probably gonna need it and you don't wanna get in trouble if you don't have it. Some schools provide them, but if your school doesn't, then I would recommend getting one. I've had this in seventh grade and it's held up for me, although I lost the back to it. But I always, um, I might not keep that in my purse this year. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it for my math class this year. But if I do, then I will definitely keep it in there. This is another little My Glam bag. I think this one's so cute. It's blue with little pink lips on it. This is my Girl Problems bag. So basically in here, I have girl items. You definitely should carry around something like this if you're a girl because you never know. Things just happen sometimes and you want to be prepared. So I'd recommend bringing at least a couple items to be prepared like that. And I like keeping it in a separate bag so I don't like... When I'm taking out my makeup bag, it's not like showing and stuff like that. So I like to keep it in, in its own little bag. Continuing on, I have a bottle of water. Now, a bottle of water, the only negative thing about bringing it to school in your purse is it really does weigh down your bag. But I don't usually have a problem with that because I am always thirsty in school and I'm always just wanting water. So I always bring water with me. Usually I'll bring, bring a big one and I'll pretty much be done drinking it by the end of the day. Um, but you can definitely bring a small one if you don't drink water that much and I will bring this like I'll take it out when I'm at lunch for my bag. Um, I just always like to stay hydrated so I would really recommend bringing a water bottle to school if you 
can fit it in your purse. I always try to get school bags, like school purses that can fit water bottles because I know I'm always going to want one and I don't like to just carry it around with me. I don't know. I'm kind of weird like that. Next, this is totally not an essential, but I'm just keeping it in my phone my phone and my purse to be safe. This is actually an on-the-go iPhone charger. It's the brand Mophie and I got this at the Apple store for $35 which I thought was a pretty good price. So you take it off, you have to charge it in your computer but once it's charged you can just put it into your phone when it's dying and it will charge up your phone a little bit and help it help prevent it from dying for a lot longer. So um, sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I use my phone in school and um, some teachers just don't really care that much, especially when you're doing busy work. Sometimes we're allowed to use our phones. So sometimes my phone will be almost dead by the end of the school day. So I think this is going to be really essential for me this year. And, you know, you just don't want your phone to die, especially if you have something important to do after school. That can be really annoying, especially if, you know, you have an iPhone. They die pretty fast. Next item I have is my keys. Now, again, you're only going to need keys if you drive to school, you know, if you're old enough. But I do drive to school every day, so um, this is my keychain. I don't think I showed. I've changed up my keychain. Um, this is my little Louis Vuitton key pouch that I actually keep my um, cards and a little bit of money in. Th something I want to address, I don't have a wallet in here. I really wouldn't recommend bringing a wallet to school. If you ever need to bring cash to school, I really would just recommend bringing a little bit of cash because one time um, all the cash from my wallet actually got stolen. So um, I just always have a little bit of cash, like right now I probably have like 10 bucks. And then I have my little, this is from Kitson, it's a little sparkle bear. I have my Munchies card, which this is just my keychain. Um, everyone's is different. And I have my car key. And I think that's it. I need to put my house key on here because I don't know what happened to it. it I really don't know, but I need to put that on here. Next, I have a pack of gum. This is Orbit, I don't know, it's like sweet mint or something like that, but I always chew gum in school. Now I would recommend if you don't want everyone asking for you gu for your gum, you take it out in your purse and just like casually put it in your mouth. Don't like take out this pack because everyone will probably ask you for gum that sees you and it'll go away really quick. So try to be a little bit sneaky about it unless you have no problem giving it to people. But and then um, this is super super tiny. Um, I have my iPod shuffle which this is actually okay sorry you can hear my dog barking. This is actually <clears throat> Tika. This is a new Alright, is she going to stop? This is actually a new purchase for me and it's so tiny. I got the little pink one and um, this is my headphones. I don't, what brand are these? Oh, these are Skull Candy headphones. I would recommend these. Um, I got this because, okay, I keep my phone, I keep my music on my phone, but something is stuck in my headphone jack and I took it to the Apple store and it won't come out so I just said, okay, well, until I get a new phone that um, the headphone jack works. I'll get an iPod Shuffle. It was like 49 bucks. It is so tiny. I'm like, I'm afraid that I'm going to lose it. So that is all that is in the purse. And then the last part of this video, kind of what to keep in your makeup bag. So I actually got a new makeup bag. I wasn't planning on it. But when I was in New York, I actually got this little makeup bag at Topshop. It was on sale. And it's so cute. It has a bow and some gold studding and I just I think it actually matches really nicely with my purse and it's a very good size I have more than just makeup in here you guys will see so these are some essentials for me that I like to bring first is one of those little half hairbrush half mirror duos I really like to have one of these to just brush out my hair in case it gets tangly and that's just something I like to have I also have a mirror from Sephora um, just you know to check up on my makeup make sure I don't have you know makeup falling down my face and things like that and then I have some clean and clear oil absorbing sheets I would recommend these if you have um, oily skin or you just get a little bit oily sometimes like I really enjoy using these at school because you don't need to bring powder and a brush this is kind of an alternative to that I have a little lotion this is the white citrus from Bath and Body Works this is so old but I just always bring a little baby travel size lotion because people always ask me for lotion and um, also if you get dry hands it's not essential, but I just like to have it. I also have a hand sanitizer. I'll use this like before I eat lunch um, or something like that. And this is the Virgo scent from Bath and Body Works. That's my sign. I really like this one. I've had this for so long. And um, then I have a couple lip products. I don't have too much makeup, but I always find myself bringing lip products. So I have my Jack Black lip balm, which I love. I have a CoverGirl Nature Lux Gloss Balm, which somebody in New York actually gave this to me at my New York meetup. So thank you so much for that. I really like this. And so I have that. And then I have a lip gloss, which is the Buxom Sugar Lip Gloss. I mean, I just always find myself having lip products in my makeup bag. 
Um, just a couple more things. I have a baby eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 in Perversion because um, something that does, my makeup usually stays on pretty good, but I do have problems with my waterline eyeliner coming off, so if I want to make it a little bit more intense, um, I always like to bring a pencil eyeliner with me and I can reapply it real quick in the bathroom if I need to. I also like to bring a concealer with me and um, I don't really use this concealer other than just for touching up anymore because I think it might break me out. Um, this is the MAC NW15 Studio Finish Concealer but it looks like this and I really just bring this one because it's so easy because it's in a little pot and you don't need a brush or anything. You know, it's just like that. Um, and then I have a hair tie with two bobby pins, which that's self-explanatory, just, just in case you want to put your bangs back or your hair up or something like that. And then the last thing I have in here is I actually just bought this today. This is the Philosophy Amazing Grace um, Little Baby Perfume. This was only $15 at Ulta, and um, I just wanted a tiny perfume that I could put in my makeup bag just because my perfume never lasts all day. Maybe it's just me, but I always find myself wanting to put on some perfume sometimes at school. So that is everything I have in my purse. I really do hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, go ahead and like this video down below if you enjoyed it and it was helpful because I think sometimes, you know, when you're packing up your purse for school, you might forget a few things and these are things that school is a long day and these are things that you definitely might need. I'm not saying go out and get everything that I talked about. I'm just saying these are some tips that things that you might not think about that you're going to need at school. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, my other back to school videos will be linked in the down bar and um, I'll probably have a couple more to come after this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and um, have a great day. Bye.